And so you are running for president and you will need to appeal to women. And that mm. brings me to abortion. Mm. What's your views on abortion? What are your views on abortion? Yeah, so first of all, I obviously hold a biblical worldview on, on any social issue or any issue I can find there. I, try, I align my positions with, with the Bible, uh, not try to impose my views on it. Uh, so that's kind of my, my baseline net net. But let me tell you my view on abortion is that I will review any legislation that Congress puts before me that better protects the life of the unborn. But I will tell you this, uh, any legislation... So pro-life. Yes, but I, I don't like to just use the term uh, because of what I'm about to say. Uh, it's not just about life to me. It is protecting the unborn and the vulnerable. But I want to see... Uh, any legislation that includes the exceptions for rape and incest, which are the most common exceptions. I want the ex exceptions, if anyone triggers the exception clause, I want, if we're going to take the life of the baby, I want to take the life of the perpetrator of death penalties. I want to see that added. Now let me tell you the problem with that. The definition of rape has changed over the last few years until 2020 and maybe a few years prior but from the 50s when in, in 60s when when Roe v. Wade went into effect rape we all viewed considered rape was something that happened to a woman that was running in a park by a stranger or walking in a parking lot and a stranger it was usually a stranger taking advantage of, of a woman but the definition of rape has changed in the last few years, and this is, I believe, going to be the national conversation. What is rape? Because in the last few years, it, the definition has changed to unwanted penetration. Well, think about that. Who's to say? And when do you decide? So consensual or not, it, unwanted. It could be... so. And what we're seeing is that a vast majority of those claiming unwanted penetration is now, it's no longer by strangers, it's by romantic people they have been romantically or physically involved with. And maybe they're on again, off again, or maybe even in a husband and wife relationship. Maybe she, one was in the mood and the other was not. And, and so there's unwanted penetration and, and there's a, a, a baby as a result of that. And then they claim rape, and it's a, a spouse, you know, a boyfriend or, or, or a lover. So I, I think that needs to be the conversation uh, as when you have a, the exception clauses, because I do want to see a life for a life. And don't you think that if, if it's worth aborting the baby for, it's worth aborting the perpetrator, the oppressor? Okay, so you're against abortion. But without exception, with exception, and and you. I I am for yes. I want to protect the life of the unborn. Yeah. Just so you're against absolutely. So you're against abortion. Yes. 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 Now, uh, but I also understand and recognize there's going to be exceptions. We're not going to have legislation in this country. Uh, I can't foresee where no abortion is allowed under any circumstances except in the, protecting the life of the mother. And this is very personal to me. Uh, because the Pfizer documents that came out said that the, their vaccine was 80 to 85 uh, percent created abortion on demand, basically. It was more 80 to 85 percent more effective than the abortion pill. We lost our first child, my wife and I in the womb probably due to that vaccine um, so when there are a lot of other ways than just did someone abort when you find out that things that were designed to protect or to support or help society was actually weaponized against uh, intentionally or unintentionally and I think that varies based on who you're talking about but uh, yes I am for protecting the life of the unborn my wife's due any day having contractions already and uh, you know even she said 
she said people will say, you know, my body, my choice, or they, and she said, this baby has hijacked my body. <laughs> my, I wish it was my body because I wouldn't do this, 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 and I would feel different. But, uh, but so that's her perspective. But what will you say to those who may tell you when you see the polls, last election, abortion won, and who we say if that's your position, you may lose a lot of women, especially people on the left. Well, I'm not going to pander to win an election. Uh, I'm not trying to run far, far, far try to outdo anyone on the floor for her. I'm not trying to outdo anybody. I'm not going, which is what they typically do during primaries, and then they move to the center during elections. To me, that's a fraud. And anybody who does that, all of America should say that you are disqualified because you are a chameleon. I can't trust you because I don't know what your positions are. If I'm talking, to, if you're talking to them, you're going to have this position. If I talk to you, you hold that position. So my position is the position is the position. Now, that doesn't mean you can't uh, uh, work with people. I'm not trying to impose everything on America. You can't write an executive order that just immediately does this. So I, I couch all that saying, you know, the Congress of the United States will actually is the one who will end up putting something on my desk. Uh, but I'm telling you what I would be looking for in that legislation uh, to sign it would absolutely be something that I know it will have exceptions. Uh, but I want to see that if it is for rape or incest and that does that's if they trigger the exception clause yeah, and for rape or incest. what type of exception is it you know four months two months two weeks six weeks you know everyone talks about six weeks they talk about the the, the number of weeks and, and that is a little bit more nuanced because uh the baby's hearts start beating at different times and i i was not aware of that it's not like all babies at month uh, week four start beating uh but and i do this uh, understand that they uh, most babies' hearts do start beating by six weeks. Yes, I like anything that is the the tightest, the best way we can protect the life of the unborn. I do believe that. Look, I actually think you talk about connecting with women voters. I think every mother out there appreciates someone who is at least going to protect the life of the unborn. Uh, and then, if uh, if the, an exception is triggered that we're not just going to abort the baby, that we're going to actually solve their problem. You're talking about healing some trauma. Uh, that would do it. But I, I can't, I don't want to leave it there. The legislation has to include better support for new mothers. Once again, we are living this now, my wife and I, and I'm telling you, they gave us a list of things insurance isn't going to cover that we have to cover out of pocket. Well, how, how is a new mother who is... Uh, who can't afford to put feed herself, who's wondering how in the world can I afford to have this child? What is she supposed to do? She can't even afford to have the baby, much less take care of the baby. So government, I do believe that we have to have, and by the way, if we put more, all the money we put into Planned Parenthood and other organizations that promoted the other side into actual women's health to help them uh, have the baby, and if there was no cost involved to having a baby, uh, and there was support for that mother ongoing, I think more women would actually choose to see it through.